Google Play and the eBay listing links are included in the description of this video. Welcome, this is my Ubuntu Terminal Handbook that I designed for beginners. It teaches a few of the basic Ubuntu Terminal commands. I'll be using Ubuntu 14.04 in this tutorial. If you are using other Ubuntu or Linux operating systems, most of the commands will probably still work for you. You will have to edit the paths within the commands though. For example, cd space forward slash home forward slash user one forward slash desktop with a capital D is a command to go to my desktop. My username is user one. If you created a different username, your path would be slightly different. You can visit my website by selecting visit my website button once you buy the app. Okay, let's get started. Let's go to the what is a terminal button. In this I explain what a terminal is and I teach you several different methods of opening a terminal. Changing the color of a terminal. I teach how to change the color of a terminal so that it will be easy on your eyes. Or you can just set it to your preference. Navigation in terminal. I teach you how to navigate around the terminal. This is two pages long in this section, but I'm only going to show you one in this preview. Copy files from PC to USB. In this section, I teach you how to mount your removable drive and copy files from your PC to your USB stick. It's four pages of information in this section. Renaming and deleting files. There's two pages here. I teach you how to rename and delete your files on your Ubuntu operating system. Find Routers page. I teach you how to find your internet router page. Task Manager in Terminal. I teach you the top command which you can find processes that are running and then you can kill the PID number which exits the process which will exit your program. It's sort of like the task manager in Windows operating system. Create, rename, and delete photos. I teach you how to make directories, which is a photo, and rename them and delete them using the terminal. Create, rename, or edit nano files. The nano editor is a small text editor built within the terminal. I teach you how to create, rename, open, and edit text files using the nano editor. Create a directory tree. Sometimes you need to create a directory tree so that you can see the folders and files within a certain directory. For example, your desktop. And I teach you how to do that. The cancel CMD action. You can cancel a command in most cases and this is a certain command like the format commands. System information. You can find out information about your system with these commands. Format a drive using gparted. You can format a drive using gparted with this command. It brings you to the gparted program. Just don't format your operating system drive or else you won't have an operating system anymore as formatting it removes it completely. Create user grant sudo delete user. In this, I teach you how to create a user, grant pseudo permissions, which is like administrative rights. And I teach you how to delete a user using the terminal. I also teach you how to power off and reboot your Ubuntu computer using the terminal. Install or uninstall apps. Here I teach you how to install Debian packages that you download for your Ubuntu operating system. And I also teach you how to use the app get remove package name, which will remove the package, the program, 
from your applications. Arc command. It's similar to the cart command. A cart command will display the contents of your text file. The arc command, you can display it and you can add extra text to certain columns. For example, I have a superhero column and a favorite movie column. You can also add more columns or you can leave off part of the columns. Open files from terminal. Here I teach you how to open up pretty much any file from the terminal. Man and help pages. Manual pages and help pages for specific commands. I teach you how to assess them. Create a Ubuntu bootable USB drive. Here I teach you how to create a Ubuntu bootable USB drive using your Windows computer. There is two pages on how to do this. Change permissions. If you don't want another user on your computer accessing your files, you can change the permission where he or she can only read it or no access to anything. You'll need to know these numbers and how to use them in order to do it. Also, another use for this is if you have a stubborn file that you can't delete. You can give yourself permissions to delete it if you don't already have them. As long as you have administrative rights to your PC. Bash scripting basics. VIM editor. It's similar to the text editor that we talked about previously, Nano. But the VIM editor is more advanced. I teach you how to navigate faster using it. You can start working on your bash scripting with it. Now bash scripting basics. Lesson 1. I teach you how to echo. Lesson 2. I teach you about creating constants. Lesson 3. I teach you about nested functions. Lesson 4. I teach you about conditions and read. Lesson 4b. I teach you another method of using conditions and read. Lesson 5. I teach you string variables. Lesson 6. I teach you how to check file types. Lesson 7. I teach you how to check user input. Lesson 8. I teach you how to add multiple user variables. Lesson 8b. I teach you how to add multiple user variables. Again, a different method. Lesson 9. I create a script called Guess My Number. And now I run the script. It says, can you guess my favorite number? I guess 2. Then it tells me, you didn't guess my favorite number. It's somewhere between 1 and 10. Try again. I guess 5. That's still not my favorite number that I program into it, so it repeats the message. Finally, I guess 7, and it said, you guessed my favorite number. Woo woo. You're awesome. You can preview the num file that the script would create for the user's input by typing cat numfile.txt. And as you can see, I programmed that script to save the user inputs each time they guessed. So it's 2, 5, and 7. There are the numbers that we've entered before we guessed the correct number. It also recorded the correct number when we guessed it. This has been a short example of bash scripting. And that pretty much sums up my program. You can purchase this program at the Google Play Store. But if you purchase it from eBay, in addition to the Android tablet app, you will receive a PC program compatible with Windows XP through Windows 8. Thank you for checking out my program. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe.